It's just a matter of, of time. Well, there's a message coming from police as the search intensifies for a suspected killer. Investigators say they have found the abandoned car belonging to Pedro Argote, the man they say is responsible for shooting and killing a Maryland Circuit Court judge. Now, despite an extensive search effort, he is still on the run tonight. 7 News' Christian Flores joins us live from where his car was recovered. And Christian, what have you learned about the search? Well, the road that we're standing right next to had been closed all day long, so cars wouldn't get in the way of those search efforts. In the last 30 minutes, this road has since reopened, but a sheriff's deputy tells us that they'll continue patrolling this area until at least midnight, even though they won't have uh, patrol units posted up out here. Now, this is a massive search area focused primarily on an expansive wooded area right behind me. It's a little too dark to tell, so we're not going to show you what we're looking at, but that could prove to be a challenge for the search teams out there. Earlier today, the sheriff did say he was confident they will find our gote. It's pretty remote area, so it could have been there since Thursday night or sometime Friday. A major update in the case surrounding the murder of Circuit Court Judge Andrew Wilkinson. Detectives finding the vehicle of suspect Pedro Argote after it was spotted by a local resident around 11 this morning. We're searching some of the vacant residents in the area. Despite locating his car, Argote was nowhere to be found. Definitely that's a possibility that he is a not in the area, but we have to clear this area to make sure it's it's a pretty big area that we're looking at. I mean, you know, it's it's a hundreds of acres in there that, you know, within a 10 minute walk, you can you can be in a lot of places down there, especially with the canal. There's a railroad track that runs through and then some other uh, local roads. People who live nearby and are concerned about this suspect also showed up to this afternoon's press conference. A lot of the people were really concerned. Why weren't they notified? We really didn't have any pre notice as to what was going on. He could hide in a thousand places. There's tall cornfields. There's a uh, junkyard. Yeah. Um, it's just there's endless thing. Law enforcement officials have not released a motive behind the shooting death of Judge Wilkinson, but documents appearing to be his final court order indicate he issued a decision in a divorce believed to involve Argote. I know there are a bunch of patrols dispatched to other judges' homes. Is that still ongoing? Is that something that's going to happen in the future, too? Uh, we're taking precautions, obviously. I think there's been protocols changed throughout the state on the judges just to be, uh, you know, a little vigilant with that, with that and their protection of our judges here in the county and the state. For this case, the Washington County Sheriff says he does not believe the public is in danger, but community members are hesitant to believe that. Is the gun with him or not? And if he's got the gun with him, it makes a whole different story. You know, everything's speculation. He might be long gone, but um, to say the public's safe, I don't, I don't know if I quite agree with that. They're nationwide search, so uh, we're going to catch this guy. It's just a matter of, of time. Now, if you see our Gote or know his whereabouts, you're asked not to approach him, but to call police. Reporting live in Washington County, Maryland, Christian Flores, 7 News.